They pulled out the patient's brain and dropped it in a bucket, along with nearly 10,000 others. Of course, this visual is exaggerated. Even after death, the brain is one of the most delicate structures in the body. You can't just yank it out and toss it into a bucket. This All done in secret, without permission, creating the largest brain collection in the world. This part is actually real. The Oregon State Hospital kept a secret collection of more than 3,500 human brains, mostly from psychiatric patients who died in the institution. World. Decades later, a journalist started asking questions about her aunt. Her files showed almost nothing, just that she was taken at 14 and locked away in a mental institution. The the Sadly, this reflects historical reality. During the 20th century, it was common for children and teenagers to be institutionalized for reasons that today wouldn't justify psychiatric admission like learning difficulties, epilepsy, behavioral problems, poverty, or simply being unmanageable. The, the brain. trail went cold until the journalist learned about the hidden brains. Digging deeper, she uncovered a secret file, and under her aunt's name, just one note, 738. When she was finally led into the base, brain wouldn't remain perfectly preserved for 40 years, just sitting in a bucket. Even with formalin, long-term preservation requires sealed containers, controlled temperature, and periodic maintenance of the preservative solution. So the imagery is dramatized, but the existence of the catalog brains is historically accurate. To the basement, they pointed to a single bucket, and inside was her aunt's brain.